Hello, today we're going to study Chapter 7, Understanding Marginalization. Now, what does it mean to be marginalized or what does marginalized mean? Now, to be marginalized is to be forced to occupy the sides or fringes and thus not be at the center of things. Now, people who do not enjoy the same benefits in society or people or person who is not in the center, who is not among the group because of being different are marginalized. Now, the reason why marginaliz marginalization occurs can be due to differences in languages, religion, differences in customs, and social status. Now, since there are very few marginalized groups of people in India, they may experience the feeling of being excluded. They may also feel marginalized because they are poor, often considered to be of low st uh, status, and sometimes they are viewed with hostility and fear. Thus, the government and the constitution needs to protect the rights of the marginalized and assure them that they can mingle with other people in the society. Now, there are two marginalized groups that we will discuss, Adivasis and the Muslim communities. For today, we will discuss only the Adivasis, okay? Now, Adivasis, they are also known as tribals. Now, Adivasis means original inhabitants. They have lived in close association with forests. They had full control over the forest and its resources. So originally these tribals were really rich culturally and has an intense knowledge of the forest area. And now around 8% of Indian population is Adivasi. Now interesting fact is that Adivasis or tribals are not homogeneous. This means that these tribals have different characteristics. Thus, there are nearly 500 different Adivasi group in India. Adivasis are numerous in states like Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, West Bengal, and in the northeastern side we have Arjun Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, and Tripura. Now Adivasis practice a range of tribal religions like the worship of ancestors, village and nature spirits, mountain spirits, river spirits, animal spirits, and many more. Many tribals were converted into Christianity when many Christian missionaries came to India. Now also there were many stereotyping attached to tribals. They are invariably portrayed in a very stereotypical ways like in colorful customs, headgears, and through their dancing. People seem to know little about the realities of their lives, which often wrongly leads to people believing that they are exotic, primitive, and backward, and to be resistant to changes or new ideas. They uh, had their own languages, the tribals, and the most common language is Santali. Now, um, about development and Adiv Adivasis. Now, Adivasis today seem somewhat marginal and powerless communities because for the past 200 years, Adivasis have been increasingly forced to migrate and leave as workers in plantations, at construction sites, in industries, and as domestic workers. Mining and other large industries has taken over tribal land. Huge tracts of their land has gone under the waters of hundred dams. Wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, military areas, etc. are areas where tribals originally lived but affected from. Now, when they continue to stay in this forest, sadly, they are termed as encroaches. We will continue the remaining chapter in our next class.